Hi, this is Anthony with a review of the Windows 10 operating system. Windows 10 was released in late July 2015 and I've been using it since November 2015. Worth mentioning is that I didn't upgrade to Windows 10, rather I got a new laptop running on Windows 10. I'm still using Windows 7 on my older laptop. So essentially I moved from Windows 7 directly to Windows 10 and skipped Windows 8 and 8.1 completely. So far I've had no issues with any programs and I use a lot of different applications. These are just a few of them. So given that I've moved directly from Windows 7 to Windows 10, I find it quite familiar in terms of navigation and just finding my way around. For example, the start menu is quite similar to Windows 7 and fully customizable. If you have a touch screen, you can set it up accordingly in tablet mode and switch instantly. Microsoft has built Windows 10 as a mobile operating system so you can use it across platforms. When using Windows 10, it feels like using a smartphone. For example, most software applications and programs are built like apps. You will find all the downloaded apps in the start menu under all apps. In fact, Microsoft has built a universal app store where you will find a variety of apps that can be used across platforms. I will be creating a separate video that covers the Windows apps and the App Store. On the right side in a taskbar, you will find notifications in the Action Center. Here you will get system and app notifications as well as email notifications based on how you set them up. You can also switch to tablet mode, access, settings, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity and a few other apps. You can pin apps to the Start menu or to the taskbar. Right-clicking on the apps will give you different options depending on the type of app. I find the Settings app very useful and user-friendly compared to the Control Panel. The Control Panel is still available, but the Settings app makes it easy to manage settings. It's organized into nine ma main categories. For example, this is the Systems category. I personally use the Settings app much more than I use the Control Panel. With the task view feature, you can create multiple virtual desktops. And this feature can be especially useful when working on multiple projects or applications. Windows Explorer, now called File Explorer, has some additional functionality. For example, in the Quick Access area, you can access frequently used and recently used files. I gave mine a Windows 7 look by removing the ribbon at the top. You can of course customize the look and feel under the view menu. Also worth mentioning is that you can get 15 gigabytes of free cloud storage through OneDrive and access it via the file manager or the file explorer. So Microsoft Edge is a new Windows 10 internet browser and it has been built from scratch. As you can see it's got a very simplistic and clean look which I personally like. It's got a couple of cool features. One of them is the annotation tool that allows you to make annotations on websites using this toolbar. You can essentially highlight and annotate. You can insert text boxes and then save them and then share them. Social media sharing is also made easy on Microsoft Edge without leaving the browser. You can also use a reading list to essentially save websites for reading later. Windows 10 still comes with Internet Explorer if you still like it, though Microsoft Edge is set as a default browser. Having said so, I still prefer Firefox and Google Chrome, and if you want to change your default browser in Windows 10, just look for this tutorial on my YouTube channel. Also, I will create a separate video on my Microsoft Edge browser review. Windows 10 has a search bar which can be pinned to the taskbar as an icon as you can see or as a search bar. It works in conjunction with Cortana which is Microsoft's virtual assistant similar to Apple Siri and Amazon's Alexa. I have personally decided not to use Cortana for now at least mainly for privacy reasons. I'd rather use a good old search function which works perfectly for me. Having said so, Cortana has some pretty cool functionality and I'm sure users will love using this voice activated assistant. I've covered a lot so far and if you're still here, kudos to you. One thing I've not covered in this review is the privacy aspect of Windows 10. I will create a separate video 
to discuss this important topic, so look for it on my YouTube channel. So my final verdict on Windows 10 is that I really like it, and I will be using it from here on. Having said so, I will still maintain my Windows 7 operating system on my old laptop and use Windows 10 on my new laptop. But if you are running Windows 8 or 8.1, I would definitely recommend upgrading it to Windows 10. I would definitely do that. But if you plan to do so, just make sure to check your system specs. Well, hope you found this review useful. You can check my YouTube channel for Windows 10 tutorials and other help videos. Are you already using Windows 10 or are you still contemplating? Please feel free to share your thoughts. And if you've got any specific questions, please leave them in the comment section. And as always, thanks for stopping by.